Hey, what's up guys? It's Virakis here and today we're gonna be using Mutagon. Now I finally got a secret ability Mutagon on my other account. Um it is foolish, but I don't have a pure brawny dusket, so this is as close as I'm gonna get. Uh yeah. And foolish, it doesn't matter that much. Mutagon doesn't have that much range defense anyways. You don't want to take many ranged hits, so you'll be fine. Uh power cuffs, of course. And heavy fists. Um, Mega punch, telekinetic sweep, quick punch, and brawn boost. We're not too worried about hitting spirit types, because or like Vesperatu in particular, because like we have this thing on our team, so we don't need to have frost punch for that. So pretty much, you just click brawn boost, and then you win the game. Uh, yeah, if like they set, swap in something and they're not swapping out, and you could just easily kill it, and then you click brawn boost, and you win the game. Um, so the TPs, um, 200 melee attack, of course, deal as much damage as possible. 28 energy, once it's fully sharded, you get 305 energy, which gives you plenty of energy to click whatever moves you want. Um, 128 health with 120, uh, range defense lets you easily, uh, tank a Protagon Metal Blast, which... Even if it crits, you're going to survive it, so you don't have to worry about Protagon very much. And, like, if they're going to keep Protagon in on you, you click this, and then... Or, well, you click Mega Punch, and then Quick Punch, and then boom, bam, you win. Um, yeah. And then 24 melee defense is to help you survive an Avatross attack. Like, I don't think... Like, it can still one-shot you, but you could survive it. Like, there's a percent chance it one-shots you and stuff, so yeah. Let's just hop into a battle and see how amazing we can do. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Have you guys... What? Mutagon. Okay, look at the way Mutagon walks. This is so creepy. Like, what the heck? I do not like the way he walks. <laughs> uh... S.A. Brawny... Foolish... Yo, uh-oh, uh-oh, I better, I better cut this video before people start talking to me. Alright, this is the only guy who accepts my battle request. Uh, they've got an okay team. They've got four Evolved Lumians, but, yeah. I think Mutagon just kind of wins. We have you for you, and you. Um, kind of good again. You're kind of good against Taw Tab. Um, don't really need you. We'll have you and you. Why does Tyrex beat your entire team except for that? Anyways. Mutagon time. Joel Tooth. Um, oh, 299 with this energy. That's lame. Brawn boost. Quick brawn boost. Oh, and they stayed in for whatever reason. Kirillin. Um. Or they didn't stay in for whatever reason. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know why you would swap Kirillin in, but we'll just kill, I guess. And boom. Kirillin is gone. I wonder, does a quick punch one shot a Zulong? I don't think I ever tested that. Mutagon, personality, uh, brawny, 200, plus two, heavy fists, power cuffs, quick punch. 43.8% chance to Oko. I like those odds. Heck yeah! <laughs> it was probably frail. Oh wait, that was against Mbit. Oh, I'm an idiot. Uh, Zulong. 37.5% chance to Oko. So, okay, yeah. It was probably frail Zulong. 
paw tab. What are you gonna click against me? Jungle Jutsu. Don't I resist that? Cause I'm mine type. That was a crit. That was a crit. Oh, this like if you try to farm CP, this is like an amazing Lumion because it just has amazing defenses for whatever reason and doesn't die and deals a lot of damage. And it can one-shot most things that outspeed it, so... I, yeah, we probably outspeed, outspeed Jill Tooth. What if it's like a nimble Jill Tooth? Oh my... Isn't that supposed to be a slow Lumion? Okay, yeah, we one-shot his entire team. This is... Very enjoyable, honestly. Oh, did they just explode? I was I was all tabbed. I guess they did. Well, I guess we'll hop into another battle to see if we can get a harder team or harder. Yeah, harder. We could face a harder team. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um, so they do have Vesperatu and Eclipse. We have you. Maybe we lead you. Kind of want you. No, we don't need you, do we? No, 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 we don't need that. Uh, yeah, we lead Zulong here. Yeah, it should be fine. I think that's Energy Orb Zulong. Maybe I should put Ancient Essence on it, but... I just wanted Zulong on this team because I wanted something fast that isn't weak to Earth. Which, this is weak to Earth, and this is weak to Earth, so I needed... Wait, that is... Uh, I, I don't remember what I was thinking, but I was thinking something. Luminami. Um... How about... No. Oh, it's a hundreds. Um, Ancient Roar. I'm not risking my Zulong against a Luminami. That is just not worth it. This is a hundreds with Energy Orb, Ancient Roar, plus a hundred Energy Zulong. Set of Mars. Ooh. Nice, okay. Um, I think we can go into Mutagon here. Then they go into Vesperatu, which we just click Telekinetic. And then we can just go into Eclipse, but it's not worth trying to like over predict and getting destroyed by Sedimars. Yeah, they're gonna go into Vest. Please don't miss. Okay! Yeah, that's right, Vesperatu. That's a heavy fist, Mutagon. <laughs> lucky crit, though. Revival. Ooh, okay. Fair enough, actually. Um, we click Raging here. Predicting the enemy to Clips coming in. It is pretty... I should s swap my to Clips' Gluminous Roar for... Uh, for a Gamma Pulse. It's actually set of Mars. Yeah, it tanks it pretty well. Um, we are heavy armor. Hmm, this is kind of a tough situation to be in. Uh, Mutagon, I guess. I don't know how well Mutagon take tanks a hasty set of Mars attack. They're actually just gonna withdraw. Into Luminami, okay. Well, I'm just gonna click Telekinetic Sweep. 
on the Vesper A2 that's inevitably coming in. This is actually my first time using Mutagon, so uh, I have no idea how to use it <laughs> properly. And I hardly ever see like other people, like when I'm battling them, use Heavy Fist Mutagon. Like I never see it. Are they typing in chat? No. Taking them so long, Vesp. Um, yeah. Very effective. We could telekinetic sweep again. Because they probably think I'm just going to go into Eclipse. But is that really worth it? No. Okay. We're just going to go back into Eclipse. It's the, it's the smart option. They are just going to Revival. We are playing hundreds, but their energy is going down very fast. Um, we click Scapegoat. Scapegoat into Disperse. Or we could just Raging twice or something. I don't know. <laughs> In order to break this guy's team, we're going to have to do some predictions or something. We're going to have to get Zulong back in, or... Yeah, we're going to... Yeah, we need Zulong, I think. Someone gave me a robust, uh... Clumsy... Valentine's fan cub. Utagon, actually. Okay. Well, I'm just going to click Raging Howl. Deal a solid chunk of that Mutagon's HP. Mega Punch is going to break my scapegoat. Oh, why, why? Okay, I'm doing it. I'm clicking Raging Howl. We do need to deal with Mutagon, so this is a solid way of doing it. They might swap out here because that could have been a low damage roll. Quick punch, actually. Well, we're heavy armor, so yeah. Um, I think we can actually go into Metatode here, and we can get some mobility on this team. Um, I think we click. I want to click Taze, but I think... So, what are the things that could come in here? Mutagon can't do anything about Metatode. They had Luminami, which we can Electro Punch. Um, I think we click Cycle Slap so that they think we're Specs. Specialization. Because I doubt... Because I have not used this... Uh, Metatode in a long time. So yeah, they're probably thinking right now, okay, it's Specialization Metatode. Let me go into Vesp. Oh, yeah, well that just beats me anyways. <laughs> okay. Um, we're out of health on Eclipse, but I don't think Vesp, like, Eclipse doesn't care about Vesperatu, though. It might have been a mistake letting my Eclipse die, but I'm just going to have to deal with the consequences. Watch it be mixed. Phantom Slash. Okay. Well. We can click Gloominous here. Wait, 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 wait. Make, uh, I didn't actually see. Yeah, we brought Terra Claw, so if they go into there, uh, whatever it's called. Okay, it is Sedimars again. Hmm. I'm gonna click Gloominous again. They're gonna overpredict. Never mind. Oh, they rejuvenated. Okay. How are we already out of energy? Oh my goodness, heavy armor. Not coming in clutch. Um. 
You want the muted on. And then we click telekinetic. Earthquake. Skin is deals some damage to Mutagon. Actually, not much at all. Click telekinetic twice on the Vesperatu. Watch this. It's gonna it's gonna be a W. Oh, I hate Vesperatu so much. Um. Well, I hate fighting Vesperatu when I'm using a Mutagon. <laughs> How long has this battle been? It's been a while. This is like the longest battle of all time, but it's featuring Mutagon a lot. Come on, just swap into Vesperatu. It's the easy play. Oh. Imagine we went into... Uh... Okay, well... That's unfortunate. Um, you can survive a Phantom Slash, right? Right? Because you do resist it. Vesp. 200. Very brawny. Ability. Sharp. Claws. And we'll give it a Power Cuffs just to make it as terrible as possible. And then it's a... Phantom Slash plus a Shadow Sprint. Doesn't kill me. Wait, are we frail? Or are we clumsy or foolish? Oh, we are foolish. Okay. Zulong is the only play we have here. If they try to predict, then we're in a pretty decent spot. They just click Phantom Slash. Okay. This is interesting. Luminami. Oh. How much damage does a Zulong do to a Luminami? So we're 200. Awakening. Thunder. Thunder Strike. Versus a Lum. Not a Lu. Zoominami. A Luminami. There's a lot of damage to it. Um. That could be melee Luminami though. I think we can go into Terra Claw actually. Oh, we could have <laughs> Ancient Roar. That would have been a lot smarter. I never <laughs> used too long. Why did I open up the chat right to that? Hmm, by Rack. S A or Tank. Does this say Mutagon for him? Am I, am I a child? Why not? Okay, well, I guess I'm not 13. Gamma Pulse. Okay, glad we swapped out there. That could have been a lot worse. Um, I'm going to click Parasitize on whatever comes in. Um, this is going to be the longest battle of all time. We just can't... I, I, like, I don't know. <laughs> they have a Vesperatu, and I have a Mutagon as my only, my real only damage dealer that I brought. Oh, besides Zulong, but, yeah. Frost Beam. Oh, I forgot it had that. It shouldn't do much damage. Plus, we are shivering, but it is 100, so it doesn't really matter that much. We get heal from a health amulet and from parasitize, so we're gonna be okay. I'm gonna click eerie stare. We should be a okay. Peace of mind. Uh oh, that's okay. Both click support moves. <laughs> Make you a lot slower. And if we deal enough damage. And they're not Power Napper, or even if they are Power Napper, if we deal enough damage, then Zulong can kill it. We, we outspeed it now. So that is very, very nice. They're just going to stack up Peace of Mind, but uh, Mutagon, so I'm sorry. You're not going to be able to sweep me with that.
We're gonna frost beam. A little bit of damage, yeah. Watch that rejuvenate. And we warmed up. Nice, nice. Um, I'm gonna click Baneful. I do not care. Boom! Luminami's gone. Okay. This is an amazing position for Terra Claw right now. Or, well, for the team in general, but, yeah. Whoo, that Baneful. They didn't expect it. They didn't think it would die. But we had Baneful coming in there in the pocket. Whoo. Are they typing in chat? Please, no, no, aw, oh, damn it. Zulong, um, we actually have incredibly similar teams. Um, we click Eerie here. E-burst, don't burn me. Just, just don't burn me. That's all I ask, yeah. Eerie stare. Say goodbye to your speed. Health Amulet's gonna keep us alive for a wait so we can parasitize and get all our health back. Two parasitizes, gotta love a hundred sometimes. As painful as it is, it's kinda nice. Okay. We can survive one more. Plus a parasitize, so we'll be okay. I hope. Don't crit. If it crits, I'm gonna cry. Even if it crits, then we just go into our Zulong, and we're fine. If it burns me, I'm going to be very sad. Just, just freeze me again. <gasps> Three health, okay. It should do a ton of damage, yeah. Okay, okay, we're in a much better position here with Terra Claw to parasitize again. They're not going to kill me. They're just going to Ancient Roar, actually. They do not want their Zulong dead. But their Zulong is, like, within quick punch range of Mutagon, so... Yeah. They're gonna send in Sedimars. Now, we don't actually have much melee defense. So... Um... Didn't do much damage to Mutagon, did it? Um... I think we go straight into Mutagon. We go Mutagon into Zulong. I I believe this is it. This is the play. Mutagon. You're gonna sharpen. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe they're gonna try and set up. I'm not risking my Zulong. So we're just gonna telekinetic sweep. It's probably gonna be Vesperatu. But we still have to Eclipse alive, so Vesperatu can't play the game. The issue is they have Vesperatu alive, so Mutagon can't play the game. Wow, okay. Just avoid it twice. Um, to Eclipse. I should add, like seriously replace Gluminous Roar for Gamma Pulse now that I have a Mutagon. Oh, I should have I should have gone with my gut. I was thinking, I don't even know if I said this out loud. Mutagon straight into Vesperatu. They're actually gonna withdraw. Straight back into Sedamars. Um we need to mix up a little bit here. Uh we can't really do much against it, so straight into Mutagon. They are just going to Earthquake, but yeah. Okay, this is the predict that the game depends on. Zulong, do not fail me. Come on, please, 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 video game. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. Bruh, Virakis. What? It's like, oh, I hate this guy. Why is he in my server? Please, 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 don't, don't, don't predict me. Okay, whoo! 
We did it. We're gonna be breaking a wall here or something, probably. If we burn that uh, set of Mars, because it's definitely set of Mars they're going into here. Oh, they're just gonna keep Vesperatu in? Are they insane? Maybe they just overpredicted. The crit could have mattered. I run a uh, foolish Vesperatu. I don't think it matters against foolish, but yeah. We are energy orb, so I don't know. It might have mattered, the crit. But even then, a Phantom Slap. Oh, but Slapdown could have. Yeah, Slapdown would have gotten us. So crit might have mattered there. Um, it's okay, we don't need to worry about it. And we Ancient Roar. Straight into Mutagon, and then now we can play the game with Mutagon now that Vesperatu's gone. Minus one. Chase down, actually. Hmm. Well, I'll take it. Uh... So wait, it's just Sedimars plus uh, Zulong, right? This is a W, I think. How long is this video? This is the longest battle of all time. They click chase down, but hasty coming in clutch right now. Um, we click quick punch here. Sedimars is too tanky. They're gonna let their guard down, yeah. I think they have understood that Mutagon is going to win this battle. And it's not like my the, my team carried this. I think Mutagon actually carried. We had to get the Zulong predict, and then they just stayed in with Vesperatu for whatever reason. Terraclaw carried as well, but yeah. Quick punch. <laughs> oh, yeah, they gave up. That is going to be a GG. Oh, yeah. Overpredicted with the Zoo. Yeah. I mean, yeah. With the Zulong there... You had to swap out, so, like, I could really deal some damage to that. Uh, Sedimars, so yeah. It, it happens. Overprediction. I, that's that's what took made this battle take so long. I didn't want to overpredict. I could have gone, like, I used Eclipse a lot. I could have overpredicted with Zulong a lot earlier there. Well, I'm just scared. Uh, oh, I freaking hate that walk. Whatever. Uh, yeah, this video is pretty long. Uh, we'll accept that friend request. Why not? He recognized me. I like friending people who actually play the game with me sometimes, you know, but whatever. Yeah, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and comment down below what Lumines I should do next and potential nicknames for Mutagon. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you guys commented a bunch of nicknames for Cephalops, which I do appreciate. Um, but a lot of them were either Weeb or just like one of them was like Brian or something like I'm not naming my edgy Cephalops Brian. So, okay, here's here's the history here. It's named Infernalist, right? Now, there's this thing in uh in in the real world, you know, called a vampire squid. Vampire squids uh they it's called like Vampiratuthus infernalis or whatever, the like the red vampire squids. But that doesn't fit, so we just, and Vampiratuthis doesn't fit either, so I just called it Infernalis, which is, like, Latin for, like, Infernal, or, it's like, it means a bunch of things, but yeah, this is the Cephalops name. But you can comment down names for Mutagon, that's fine, preferably edgy, but this is less necessary to be edgy, if it's a hilarious name, we'll take it, or if it's just a cool name, we'll take it, this doesn't necessarily have to be edgy. But yeah, it might end up with an edgy name, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video, and... Bye!